Welcome to a world of myths and legends, where fantastical creatures roam free. In Korean mythology, one such creature is the Bulgasari. Its name translates to, cannot be killed, or, can only be killed by fire. It is said to have originated from the Ma, a creature from ancient Chinese mythology known for pursuing justice and eating iron. In late Joseon period folk paintings, the Bulgasari was depicted as a bear-like creature with a wiggly nose, akin to an elephant's trunk. It was believed that the Bulgasari could overcome bad luck and even eat bad dreams. The Bulgasari shares many similarities with the Wa Mo, an animal from Buddhist scriptures. Both creatures are known for their ability to ward off bad luck and bring good fortune. In Japan, there is also a legendary creature called Baku, similar to the Ma or Bulgasari in Korean folklore. Baku is also known for its ability to eat dreams and nightmares. It is often depicted as a chimera-like creature with the body of a bear or taper, the nose of an elephant, the eyes of a rhinoceros, and the tail of an ox. Its role in Japanese folklore is to protect people from bad dreams by devouring them before they can come true. Another similar creature is the Wadu, a fire-eating dog, which appears in the folktale collection called Taepyeong Gwangi. Taepyeong Gwangi is a representative collection of Chinese folktales that were wandering around China from the Han Dynasty to the Northern Song Dynasty. It was completed in 978 with a total of 500 volumes. The Wadu is described as an animal that lives by eating fire, similar to the Bulgasari. In the Taepyeong Gwangi, there is a story about a Wadu that is captured by a man who is then able to obtain its ability to resist fire. Wadu was believed to be able to eat bad dreams and dispel evil spirits. In Korea, Taepyeong Gwangi was beloved by intellectuals as a representative collection of folk tales that must be read thoroughly, starting from the reign of the Goryeo dynasty. However, until the reign of King Sejo of the Joseon dynasty, it was not printed domestically and had to be imported from China at a high cost. Bulgasari has a tough body as it eats iron, and its fur is sharp like needles. Its biggest characteristic is that it grows as it eats iron. When fully grown, it can easily destroy structures made of stone and has an indestructible, sturdy body. Therefore, it is named, Bulgasal, meaning an invincible creature that cannot be killed. Its only weakness is fire, so it is also called, Bulgasal, which means a creature that dies in fire. According to some interpretations, it only dies when it hears the preaching of a Buddhist monk, so it is said to only die to the, Buddha. However, according to some variations of the legend, the creature does not die when it comes in contact with fire. Instead, it absorbs the energy of the flames and becomes a monster that breathes fire and smoke. Because of this, even in creative works where creatures inspired by the Bulgasari appear, such as the Agron in Pokemon with fire-based attacks, they are often depicted as monsters that breathe fire, emphasizing their monstrous abilities. In North Korea, a movie called Polgasari, directed by Shin sang ok was released in 1985. The film tells the story of a feudal dynasty in ancient Korea that is oppressed by an evil king who steals all the iron from the peasants, leaving them with no means to defend themselves against his tyranny. A blacksmith creates a small figurine of a monster named Polgasari using a magical mixture of rice and his daughter's blood. The figurine comes to life and grows in size as it consumes iron, becoming a giant metal-eating monster that battles the king's army and ultimately leads a revolution to overthrow the oppressive regime. The director of the movie, Shin sang ok was abducted in Hong Kong in 1978 and continued his career as a filmmaker in North Korea at the behest of Kim Jong-un. However, he managed to escape to the U.S. Embassy in Vienna in 1986 while on a trip to Austria. There are nearly 20 different versions of the folklore featuring Bulgasari. Most of the stories begin with a monk who was begging for food and made a rice doll called, Bulgasari, from rice balls to give as a gift to the homeowner. As it is a folk tale, there are many variations, including the story that a childless elderly couple made a doll from rice to alleviate their loneliness, which became Bulgasari. 
Volgasari is believed to be a creature that eats iron, and since iron is opposite to fire, people thought that Volgasari would melt in the flames. However, later on, it was believed that Volgasari also possessed the power of water, which can melt iron. As a result, it was said that a Bulgasari statue was placed under the chimney of a wooden structure to protect it from fire. In fact, there is a Bulgasari engraving at the bottom of the chimney of the Amazon Palace in Kyungbokgung Palace, but it is said to be there to purify evil spirits rather than to protect against fire. Today, we learned about the legend of Bulgasari. I hope you found the story interesting and thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more fascinating tales.